Hey everyone, I'm super sorry that I'm not able to be there in person today at Bob's Memorial as I'm back in North Carolina here at Duke University Hospital. But this uh, this video was really hard to make because of of how much not only Bob meant to us in our in our cycling family at CVCCA and, and team and training. But also because of how much hardship our cycling community has faced these past few months with the passing of, of Marilyn, with Mark Booz, your wife Brenda, and now having to have the memorial service for, for Bob Army. Um, all of these individuals were incredible and meant so much to a lot of us here at CVCCA that to go on through life without them is is something that I didn't think I was going to have to do this early. Uh, I met Bob when I was just about three years old, I believe, right when we first started with team and training, and it was before I left uh, for my transplant at Duke University. So that was around 2003, 2002. Um, and... You know, one of the earliest memories I have of Bob just being Bob was uh, at one of our uh, team and training fundraiser dinners that we used to have. Uh, it was, I don't remember the location, but uh, I came for the for the auction because they were auctioning off uh, one of the first paintings that we, actually the first painting that we used uh, for a jersey um, back in 2003. It was the the yellow painting with the different colored bicycles on it. And I remember going into the auction and I, I think Bob was standing right by the painting. Um, and I told Bob, I was, I pointed at the gold bike that had like white trim around it. And I was like, Bob, that that's your bike. Uh, he's like, Oh really? I was like, yeah, Bob, that that's going to be your bike. Uh, he's like, Oh, okay. And then, uh, the auction started and it became an immediate bidding war between Bob Army and, and Mike Shoemake. And they were both going back and forth, back and forth. And then finally Bob stood up and shouted over at Mike and was like, Parker said that that bike right there is my bike. So this is my painting. And he's like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to pay whatever amount. This is my painting. And, and Bob, uh, I guess the bidding kept going or whatever. And then Bob stood up again and he goes, $5,000. And uh, Bob ended up winning that painting for, for $5,000, and we used it as the team in training jersey um, for quite a few years, actually. And then um, that painting hung down in his office at his, at his shop. And, um, you know, that was my one of my earliest memories of, of you know, Bob going all the way and, and being uh, boisterous as, as, as ever. Um, and then, oh, I, I think a lot of people remember when Bob and I uh, used to race each other down at the Tower District. Uh, again, I, that, those those years were just before I left for transplant. Um, in a few moments, you'll you'll see some photos, and um, one of them I'm still bald from the from the chemotherapy um, they gave me out at Valley Children's. But um, no matter what. Uh, if I was feeling terrible or uh, just having a rough day at it, you know, going down there and racing Bob was was awesome. Um, some of the greatest memories doing that. Uh, I know that Scott Shoemaker used used to organize that ride uh, down there, and um, you know, I remember Bob showing up in a I think it was a chicken suit one time, and and then his big uh, tricycle. Uh, and he always rode that tricycle. I think I can only remember one time where he didn't ride the tricycle in in, in that in that race. Um, but it was, I know it was, it was so much fun. Um, he and and Kurt used to you know buddy up and and try to and try to pep talk with each other, and uh, it didn't matter. Uh, I think one time I pushed Bob into the hay bales uh, down and and forced him to stop and I was able to come around the corner and and take a victory pretty easily um but even afterwards Bob still had a big smile on his face and he he loved every moment of it and uh you know this this man was a fantastic individual to 
to everybody. Um, he was a fantastic mentor, uh, a fantastic coach. Um, he helped me through my training when I was doing my century ride. Um, he followed me all over the valley uh, in his little black Chevy Silverado he called Stealthy. Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't have asked for a better friend um, through Bob Army. He, he was he was always there for us. And, and that was something that is just is just amazing. Um, Bob is a fantastic man, and he's going to be missed by all of us in the cycling community. Um, and you know, to kind of to kind of give you a another funny memory of how I remember Bob, um, it was probably. I, I'm going to go with it was probably 2008 because Connor and I are three years apart. So that would made him five. And that was, that seems just about right. Um, and we were out at the, the lighthouse ride, uh, doing our usual after the ride barbecue down there at the, at the park right across the street from the, uh, Embarcadero hotel. And, um, we got, we finished the barbecue or whatnot. We go back to the hotel and, and Connor and I, uh, walk into the hotel room and then we start pulling out all this all this money and laying it out and then we split it between ourselves and I remember my dad and and my mom they were both looking at each other like where where in the heck did you get all this money uh, and we told them that we were selling s'mores and yeah sorry uh, Jamie Erokin but I'm gonna throw you under the bus here because you were the one who gave us the idea to sell the s'mores and one of the one of the individuals that we sold them to was Bob Army. And I think we charged Bob a little bit extra for his s'more, um, but I don't remember that. I think it was like maybe two bucks, though. Um, and then when we gave Bob his s'more, um, he like grabbed the marshmallow first and like completely missed the graham cracker or something. He was like, can I have a napkin with this? And we were both my, looked at my brother and we were both like, yeah, sure, but it's gonna charge. Uh, we're going to charge you an extra dollar for it. He was like, man, you guys are tough businessmen. And uh, then we went and got him a napkin and he gave us the extra dollar. Um, but, yeah, that that was fun times. Um, and, you know, Bob was always in good spirits. Um, he always, you know, showed up for our, our Saturday or our Sunday rides and um, kept the mood up and would not let you quit uh, whatsoever. Uh, that seems to be a common theme um, amongst CVCCA because uh, yeah, Jim Wyman and Donna Wyman uh, did not let me quit at the Tahoe Century either. Um, even though I wanted to right before we got to Spooner. Um, but, um, you know, Bob's never quit attitude is, is something that um, all of us can utilize as a tool uh going forward through life um because you know we sh we should never give up and bob never gave up um he fought till the very end and he's going to be missed by our entire community and i just want to wrap this up by saying that once again i'm sorry that i was not able to attend in person today um, i hope everybody understands why and I want to continue to thank the Shoemakes for their generous hospitality, opening up their home once again for all of us at CVCCA to come and celebrate um, how special this individual was to us. And I hope that everybody has a fantastic rest of their afternoon and that there aren't too many tears shed over Bob Army's life because Bob wouldn't want that. Bob would want to be remembered by how, you know, outgoing and sarcastic and, and funny he was. Um, so it's a celebration of life and, and Bob deserves it. And so thank you so much for showing up today. And I hope everybody has a good rest of their afternoon.
Too fast. 